Hello everyone, Vito Zay for YouTube, back with a look at this week's mailbag, and it's quite a bit. Uh, last week, of course, there was no decks this week, mostly decks, yeah, so some of you will probably be happy about that. Uh, first of all, though, I got one thing here, a game that came actually a week ago. Unfortunately, I wasn't really, ex I guess I wasn't paying attention to the track, I wasn't really expecting it, and then it just showed up. And, uh, so I didn't get it in last week's video, but here it is, it's... I got it from Board Game Bliss, and it's Power Grid of a card game by Friedman Freeds and Rio Grande Games, based on a couple of board games that are pretty popular. It's all about you playing as CEOs of power factories and bidding and buying power factories and buying the uh, resources needed to power them up so you can make money to buy better ones. Pretty interesting. Uh, getting on to the, what we got in here, first of all, I got Circuit. This is from the 1914, it's a Mark deck. It's got a circle back type look to it. I got this on Penguin Magic, I recall. And there it is, it's pretty nice. I don't know who designed it. It was designed by Destino, that's right, Destino the Magician. Don't know where it was printed though. And then we have, the, uh, the couple of decks here that are from the fast food, fast food playing cards. It is the chocolate and whiskey, because those usually go together solo, right? From the uh, most recent Kickstarter project, I got these again. Um, actually, I think I got these on carddixon.com. And there are a thousand, and I got numbered seals on them, obviously. Then we have... Uh, I got this one from Penguin Magic. It is the Leaves Saddle Edition, or Black Edition, from Dutch Card House Company. Pretty nice. The last one in the series. And I have, uh, this one I got on Penguin as well. It is the Odd Fellows, Madame Laveau Edition. Very cool design. It's got a reveal on there. I, that was the card you selected, I'm sure. <laughs> then we got... Okay, this one I got on Carter Dixon. It is the Bicycle Capcom Fighting Legends deck, which features some Street Fighters and some other characters I'm not horribly familiar with, but it's pretty nice. It was a little bit pricey, a little bit more than I would like to pay for it, but it was also the cheapest I could get it for, basically. Then we have a game, which I got on eBay. It's an older game from 2014, I think it was, and it's by uh, John Covew, and... Genius Games, and it is Linkage, which is all about DNA and RNA, and trying to play your RNA cards to match the DNA cards, and again, it's by Genius Games. It's out of print, so it's a little harder to find. And then I have the deck here that I got from Penguin Magic. It is from Fulton's. It's the Chinatown Bootleg Edition, which is pretty nice. I do have a, I do like the Chinatown decks, and this one looks pretty nice. Let's see what I'll get. Then I have one that I got on eBay. It is the Bicycle Board Ape deck. Really nice, shiny tuck case and everything. Very interesting, unique deck. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. And then we have another one I got on eBay. It is the Fournier deck, Deluxe Edition, uh, in this greenest color, which to me just, I've never seen this color before. So I've seen maybe uh, fairly rare. I figured I would check it out. Then I got another game here, which I got on uh, on Amazon, to be fair. And it is the Great Barrier Reef card game, which is a pretty small little box, little game about laying out cards and trying to score the most points. Uh, it is by a little company called Travel Buddy Games. It was on Kickstarter a few years ago. It's from 2019. It's still out there. And then I got a deck here that I got on on Penguin Magic as well. It is the Tulip Grand Gold Edition. They also had one in red, but it was it's just pricey as it is. And the other one was even pricier, I think. So I just went with this one. It's a nice little grand finale, if you will, to the Tulip series for me. And then I have... The uh, 
Cold Case deck from Emily Slights, which is a side opening duck case. Uh, inspired by the mysterious death of SW or days even comes open. Evidence Bay. I want to say that recently uh, Emily posted on Instagram that she's been going some, through some very dark times and she is uh, apparently dropping out of doing the whole playing card thing in the very near future as she's just kind of lost interest and just going through these dark times. Emily, if you're watching, uh, if you need to talk, I'm here. I'm happy to talk. Just let me know. Couple more decks. First, I, another one I have here is the uh, from Fury 11 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I got on Carter Dixon. I would have gotten it on Penguin or Vanishing Inc., but along with some of these other decks, but they didn't have it for some reason. And then I got a couple more decks here. These are the latest from Mechanic Industries. They are the turn decks based on the turn in uh, poker. Very nice, shiny. They do have animated backs. I'll try to show you that very quickly. If I can. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll show you better when I do a review. They're fairly standard decks. And that's how they're designed. They're not marked or anything like that. Just animated. So it's kind of cool. Also got a Sticker from Carter Dixon, stay addicted, or preferably don't. <laughs> Dixons are bad. And then I also got, I got this from Board Game Geek. It is some uh, expansion cards for Subatomic. It's Stephen Hawking set, so I thought that would be pretty cool to get. And that is what I got this week. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.